Dear friends and faithful believers, with hearts brimming with hope and gratitude, we extend a warm and heartfelt welcome to each of you gathered here today on the channel. May the peace, love, and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always, enveloping you in His divine presence and comforting you through the trials we face together. In moments like these, it is essential that we remember the strength of our faith and the bonds we share as a community. As we confront the relentless rains that have been drenching North Carolina for days on end, compounded by the tropical deluge stemming from the remnants of Hurricane Helen, we are reminded of the power of nature and the importance of turning our hearts and minds to Jesus. In these tumultuous times, let us seek His comfort and draw upon His strength, for He is our refuge and fortress, a steadfast protector amid the storm. His love provides us with solace when the world around us seems chaotic and unpredictable. The severe weather conditions we are experiencing have compelled officials to closely monitor a critical dam located near Key Mount, as they respond to the widespread flooding that is affecting many areas. This monitoring is a crucial step in safeguarding our communities from potential disasters. Forecasters predict that we could see over a foot of rainfall in a very short time, which, unfortunately, creates a perilous recipe for disaster. Each drop of rain is a reminder of the fragility of our circumstances, but it also serves as a call to unite in prayer and action. As Hurricane Helen transitioned into a tropical storm early Friday, its path of destruction had already been linked to two tragic fatalities. The storm initially struck the Florida Panhandle Thursday night as a fierce hurricane, unleashing its fury upon unsuspecting communities. It raced northward, reaching the majestic North Carolina mountains within just a few hours, bringing with it not only heavy rains but also the threat of devastation. The winds howled with ferocity, reaching speeds of up to 108 mph at top Mount Mitchell, which proudly stands as the highest elevation east of the Mississippi River. The roar of the winds, reminiscent of a lion's growl, serves as a stark reminder of nature's overwhelming power. In the face of these extreme weather conditions, we are reminded of the strength found in our shared faith. Our communities, although shaken, are resilient. As the rains continue to pour, let us come together in solidarity, offering support to one another and reaching out to those who may feel isolated or fearful. The storm may be fierce, but our collective spirit, anchored in faith, is fiercer still. In these moments of uncertainty, let us not forget to lean on one another and to draw strength from the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is with us in our trials and tribulations, providing comfort to those who are suffering and guiding us toward hope and renewal. May we remain steadfast in prayer, seeking His divine intervention and protection over our homes, families, and communities. Together, with faith as our compass, we can navigate through this storm, trusting that brighter days lie ahead. As we gather here today, let us lift our voices in unity and faith, praying for the safety of all those affected by this weather and for the wisdom of our leaders as they work tirelessly to ensure our well-being. May the light of Jesus guide us through the darkness and may His love bring us peace in the midst of chaos. Let us embrace each other with compassion and understanding, for together we can overcome any storm that may come our way. Travel across western North Carolina has become increasingly dangerous, prompting the state's Department of Transportation to urge all residents to stay off the roads for their own safety. Both Interstate 40 near Old and Interstate 26 south of Asheville have been shut down due to the hazardous conditions created by the storm. Adding to the chaos, a mudslide on I-40 has dumped debris into the swollen Pigeon River near the Tennessee border, resulting in the closure of the highway in both directions. Emergency teams are tirelessly working, performing hundreds of rescues amid fast-rising waters. 
Governor Roy Cooper has emphasized that the focus is now on saving lives, reminding us that in times of trouble, we can always look to Jesus for guidance and hope. He stressed that no one should travel unless they are seeking higher ground for their safety. In Rutherford County, officials remain vigilant, closely monitoring the Lake Lure Dam after flood waters spilled over its crest, causing some minor erosion. State Department of Environmental Quality spokesperson Kat Russell has reassured the public that, at this moment, the dam is holding firm, but the sheer volume of water continues to present an ongoing risk that cannot be ignored. This dam, nearly 100 years old and measuring 48 feet long and 120 feet high, plays a crucial role as it feeds into the broad river. Communities downstream are on high alert, with several hours of lead time expected should evacuations become necessary. State agencies in both North and South Carolina have prepared comprehensive emergency response plans, ready to activate should the situation deteriorate further. In reflecting on the current state of affairs, it is evident that many residents have voiced their concerns that this is the worst situation they have encountered in such a short amount of time. As the storm continues to wreak havoc across the region, it appears we are only just beginning to witness the full extent of its impact. The relentless mudslides and washed-out roads have severely hindered rescue operations, leaving some areas unreachable and isolated from immediate assistance. This lack of access is particularly alarming as emergency responders work diligently to reach those in need, but the treacherous conditions complicate their efforts significantly. One particularly concerning mudslide involved four homes, leaving an unknown number of residents unaccounted for, as reported by Ryan Cole, the Assistant Emergency Services Director for Buncombe County. His remarks highlight the gravity of our current situation, as he emphasized that this disaster represents the worst natural calamity any of us have ever experienced in western North Carolina. The weight of his words resonates deeply, reminding us of the fragility of life and the unpredictable nature of our environment. In addition to the remote areas grappling with destruction, even the typically serene and picturesque downtown Boone has been adversely affected by flooding. This occurrence is rare, and local officials are working tirelessly to manage the implications of this sudden crisis. The streets that usually echo with laughter and joy have transformed into channels of water, and the sense of normalcy has been disrupted. Residents find themselves navigating uncharted waters both literally and metaphorically grappling with the challenges that come with such overwhelming adversity. In the face of such calamity, it is vital that we hold firmly onto our faith in Jesus Christ. In moments of uncertainty and despair, we must draw strength from His everlasting love and grace to help us see through these challenging times. The storm has already claimed at least two lives, a tragic incident occurred when a falling tree crushed a home in Charlotte, and severe weather conditions contributed to a deadly car accident in Catawba County, according to authorities. Each loss reminds us of the preciousness of life and the importance of community support during such trying times. As we navigate through these hardships together, let us unite in heartfelt prayer for those affected by this devastating storm. In our prayers, we can lift the names of those who are missing, those who have suffered losses, and those who are bravely working to provide rescue and relief. Together, we can trust that with Jesus by our side, we will find the strength and resilience to overcome these challenges. May we not only support one another in love and faith, but also be a source of encouragement and hope for those who feel lost or alone. In the coming days and weeks, let our hearts remain anchored in hope as we look to brighter days ahead. We must remind ourselves and each other that even in the darkest moments, there is light to be found in the compassion we show to one another. With each small act of kindness, 
We can rebuild our community and restore the spirit of togetherness that makes Western North Carolina such a special place. As we move forward, let us embody the teachings of Jesus, who calls us to love and serve one another, especially during times of hardship.